back. Okay, so the aftermath. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stoned, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Kiri, Just of course. Second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka. Is it, it's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the, myster the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such. Yeah, you are a fucking d idiot. You know that, Makoda. It's true. You're an easy target. Stop doing that shit. Saika meant to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dead, dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Well, in truth be told, she did want to pinpoint who's the kill like who the killer was, right? I mean, she could have, if she really wanted to pin all the blame on me, she would have, well, that makes no sense if she did. Plus, how would that work in Upside Down? Oh, middle finger. Oh, Upside Down A. Oh, Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't task her now. However, Even if you can't task her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave a dying message proves it. She didn't... If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe. She just wanted to get back at the person who killed... That is true. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it is. Anyway. But that's what you think. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she w could kill someone. Or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you move past the deaths of your own, your friends, Saika and Leon, and keep moving forward. Intentionally enough, out of curiosity, if um I talk to someone else, like if I talk to Hifumi instead, or if I talk to... uh. Byaku Yaku, whatever fucking name his fucking name is, would the results change? Like, if I talk to Lee, because I talked to Saika and Leon during our conversation during our free time, and both of them eventually kind of like, yeah. So, would the results change if I talk to someone else, or is it always the same result? Out curi of curiosity, I want to see what you guys would think, would uh, say if your playthrough experience has been either different or the same, because I haven't seen really anything. Anyone saying something like that at all. So anyways, uh... But then again, the upside down... I feel like that would be way too complex. I think Leon was meant to die in the first place. Be the culprit of the murder, but again... That would require a second playthrough, and... I don't think I would be willing to do that, honestly. Alright. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a dust... Then again, I Aoi also... I also talked to her... But she was not involved whatsoever. She was a witness, but that seems really circumstantial, I think. But whatever, um... Without well, someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No? I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon, Sayaka... I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations from me for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I had to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well. Detective's intuition, I guess. I'm psych- <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Makoto, you fucking dork! What? Huh? Kidding, I just have really good intuition. Wow, Makoto, you fucking dork. God damn it. Chapter 1, To Survive, Black Blood.
The end. <laughs> Surviving students, 12. This is gonna be one cramped up place. To be continued! How many acts are there in total, by the way? I'm curious. Okay. <laughs> you received a despair bad present. Fuck me. Great present for me to... One is the loneliest... No, nope, shut the fuck up, achievement. Okay, so I think that should be the end of today's recording session. I don't think an end like that would be, a, like... I think that's a very good ending for the recording session for today. I'll continue on forward. If this method of me recording this game on the Xbox One works, then I am definitely going to be able to record Vita footage a lot more efficiently. If not, then... I might probably never record feed footage again because of how fucking pain in the ass it is. Anyway, so, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the future of my Let's Plays. This is Basinger, signing out. Now, if you excuse me, I'm off to play some... I, <laughs> I did not prepare this joke. Benji kazooie or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of bored now, so... I'll probably play some... whatever. Bye! You, know, guys, you guys don't need to know about my lifestyles. What are you trying to do, invade my personal space, huh? No! Don't do that. It's wrong. It's bad. Also, it's been two hours and 30 minutes, so it's a little bit like 30 minutes less than the usual previous recordings, but there's no way I don't think I could fit whatever's going to happen afterwards later on, so I think that should be it for today's recording session. See you guys!